In this circuit of the past video, Herman shows you all the layouts of the Chimay Street circuit in Belgium. During the ride, I'll tell you a little bit more about all the ins and outs of the track. We start with the original layout, which was in use from 1929 through to 1984, the year I was born, funnily enough. The length of this version was 10.87 kilometers, or in old money, 6.754 miles. After the start-finish line, the track went into the town of Chimay. As you can see, we now ride through the town of Chimay. The name of this section was Le Boucher, which is French for the butcher, probably because there was a butcher here. However, not the only butcher, because I'll be butchering most of these French names. <laughs> so I apologise in advance for any French speakers offended. I did enjoy doing it at GCSE though. We're now at the slowest corner of the track. The original Chimay circuit was an ultra-fast street circuit, which you could compare to the old Spa Francochon. However, through the years it changed because of safety issues. Today, the circuit of Chimay is reduced to a short stop-and-go circuit with four chicanes. We'll see that version at the end of the video. First up though, assemble heroes, we have an origin story to tell. In 1929, a race event was organised near the Belgian town of Chimay. It was an initiative from local race enthusiast Jules Bousseret. Because the location was close to the French border, the name of the event was called Grand Prix de la Frontières, which is French for Grand Prix of the Borders. Of course, these speed bumps played no part in any layout whatsoever of the track, nor did the roundabout in front either. Don't give Mr Tilk any ideas. All that's missing are tram lines from that Brazilian IndyCar circuit and I'll have night terrors. Grand Prix de la Fontaine was a combined event with both car and motorcycle races. The circuit was formed of public roads with the section through the town of Chimay, which we just saw. The success of the first Grand Prix de la Fontaine made sure that this would become an annual event, and as the circuit became known by more people, more race series flocked to Chimay. So we've mentioned that this circuit was super, super quick. Well, now we're at the fastest section of the track, the Ligne Droite de Salas. Okay, that's a little bit of a difficult French name, basically for Salas Straight. Herman, come on, save my bacon, give it a go. Ligne Droite de Salas. The guy named Herman, who saved my bacon on more than one occasion, is Herman Lischemeyer, founder of the Circuits of the Past website and YouTube channel. He's also a Dutchie, which means he can speak most of the European languages. Herman also filmed all of this footage of the Chimay circuit. I'm Simon Smith, I just do the voiceovers, casually butchering pronunciations with glee, and have a gaming channel called Higher Plane Games if you're interested. We now approach the village of Salas, but before we talk about the village, there's a double right-hander here named Le Double Droite de Salas, or the Double Right of Salas, in English. As you can see, the corners here are banked, which was certainly done for racing purposes. However, it's not quite known exactly when the banking was made. We think it probably happened in the 1960s, but we're not even sure about that. If you know any more, please let us know with a comment down below this video. The double right-hander leads into another fast section. Here Herman overtakes a tractor, which is undoubtedly heading for a did-not-qualify, just like he did at the old Matet circuit. 
<laughs> this time though, there's no fast alpine. We now approach the highest part of the old Chimay street circuit, where we pass a chapel named Deep Breath, Chapelle de la Abricio. Here we see another tractor, driving in the wrong direction. Clearly, this one's a public lobby driver. As you see, these are all flat-out kinks. The next breaking point was for a fast right-hander. Behind that corner is an abyss, which makes this one of the most dangerous sections of the circuit. As we all know, motorsport is very dangerous, and these beautiful fast street circuits are at the pinnacle of that danger. So tragedy is only naturally part of the history of Chimay. One of these tragedies was in the death of Ivo Graals, one of Belgium's most popular drivers from the 1960s and early 1970s. On the 21st of May 1972, he took part in the Grand Prix de Fronteras and on the 8th lap his Camaro ran ride during an overtaking move on three back markers right at the corner that we're approaching now. At a speed of 250 kilometers an hour, he went off the track on the left-hand side, plowed through the grass field, and then sailed over the ravine of an old railroad, which will cross now just over the bridge. Grouse crashed into the opposite embankment of the old railroad and was instantly killed. On the left, you'll see a chicane, which was introduced in 1985. We'll take that one on the next lap. For now, we go straight on. Here the track ran through a suburb of Chimay. We turn right here for a section back to the old start finish. As you can see, Herman filmed this on a sunny day and the sun reflection hits the windscreen on this section. So, sorry for this, but it gives you a good opportunity to wear your sunnies inside. The section we're driving on now is also part of the current Chimay circuit, which we'll see at the end of the video. Here, on our left hand side, is, guess what? Another chicane! <laughs> but, just like the one before, we don't use it in this version of the track. So that brings us to the last two corners of the 1929 to 1984 layout of Chimay. Before the start of the 1985 season, there was a huge renovation to make the dangerous street circuit safer. A new connection was built to cut off the section through the city of Chimay. This new connection was also the new start-finish straight, which we're entering right now. On our right hand side you'll also see the new pits and control tower. Also, to make some of the faster sections safer, three new chicanes were built. After this reconstruction, the length of Chimay was now at 9.7 kilometers or 6.03 miles. So here, at the new start finish straight, we officially start our lap on the 1985 to 1995 version. Actually, this version was also used in 2008 for classic motorcycle races, and that was including the roundabout that we're approaching now. <laughs> More about that later. However, thankfully, in the 1985 to 1995 version, there was no roundabout here. It was just a corner leading onto the Long Salas Strait. I'm not going to butcher that French name again. The long straight was now a bit shorter, but it was still the fastest section of the track. At the end of the straight was a fast left-hand corner named Spitkins. It was here where in 1992 Belgian pro car driver Gary Neve, the younger brother of ex-Formula 1 driver Patrick Neve, was killed. After that fatal crash, the Chimay circuit was found too dangerous for car racing and since then only motorcycle races were held at the old circuit. As you see, this fast kink brings us into the territory of the village of Salas. Then after the hillock in front of us 
is the notorious Spitkins Corner. Since 1985, there was a chicane placed here, but strangely enough, it was placed after the fast corner that cost Guy Neve his life. With his Porsche 911, he clipped another car and lost control. The car was launched into a series of rolls to destruction along the grass bank on our right hand side. He landed on his roof and caught fire. Neve was killed on the spot. The piece of asphalt on the left is from a chicane after Spitkin's Corner. Why they built that chicane after the fast corner and not before? I literally have no idea. If you have any ideas or the reason behind this, please let us know again down in the comments below. So, we're back into the village of Salas, where we can see another tractor by the side of the road. Here we take the double right-hander again to another fast section, where Herman caught up with the driving tractor. So, as I mentioned, the last race on this layout was actually in 2008. However, the new circuit was already built and in use by 1996. But for classic motorcycle races, they wanted to use the old circuit again, without the section through the town of Chimay even when this meant that the first corner was changed into a roundabout. <laughs> it must have been a hilarious sight to see the classic motorcycles going around a roundabout between straw bales. <laughs> toot toot indeed. However, the revival of the old circuit was actually a big success and they would make it an annual event. It was short-lived though because after some safety incidents in 2008 and the politics that followed, racing was then banned at the old track. So, with the old street circuit abandoned in 1996, we saw Chimay version 3. This was a new 4.520 kilometers or 2.8 miles long shorter version of the Chimay circuit. The new layout made use of some of the old parts of the street circuit, like the 1985 introduced start finish straight with the new pits. This new circuit though was built to bring car racing back to Chimay. Shortly after the start finish straight, a new section was built, which we'll see later in the video. This new section is actually just a straight with two chicanes. At the end of the new section, you'll enter an old part of the track with Drum roll, please. <gasps> Two more chicanes. <laughs> At exactly where the new section joins the old part of the track, Herman again overtakes that same tractor that he caught up with the previous lap. I wonder what that farmer would have thought. GP2 tractor indeed. Okay, here we are at the second chicane of this version of the circuit, named after Evo Grawls, who sadly died here not far from this chicane. Sad enough, this chicane was also the scene of a tragedy during the event where Guy Neve lost his life in 1992. Earlier that day, Michel Malian lost control of his Honda Civic as he approached the chicane we just drove through. He crashed, killing one unknown spectator and injuring several others. This part of the old Chimay circuit is still in use as part of the current circuit, including two bus stop style chicanes, which were introduced in 1985. Now, of course, we all know the old bus stop chicane from Spa-Francorchamps. If you've seen the video from Old Mate, you'll also know that there are three bus stop chicanes there too. And let's not forget the Jidan circuit, which also proudly owns its own bus stop chicane too. So it seems like these kinds of chicanes were very popular in Belgium in the 1980s and 1990s. I suppose it's a space and cost effective way to slow down cars and bikes alike. So 
So when we enter the old start finish straight for the second time, I want to point out to you the site of the old control tower, here on our right hand side. Sadly, it fell prey to vandalism and it was decided that it should be demolished. Thanks vandals, you've ruined a piece of history forever. So, now we turn right to the start finish for our last lap on the current version of the Chimay Street Circuit. After the start finish, we turn right to the new section. Although this section was actually purposely built for racing, it's still part of the public road, just like the sections of the old circuit. So Herman had to keep to the right and couldn't drive the racing lines here either. So if you remember, this new section is a straight with two chicanes, of which we're now approaching the first. Out of the first chicane, Herman's busy accelerating to the next one, reliving boyhood dreams of racing prowess. However, although he's keeping a close eye on the right hand side waiting for that next chicane, it pops into view just that little bit too late as you'll see. Herman wasn't speeding, but he did have to brake pretty hard to reach that chicane. <laughs> Seatbelts on ladies and gents. Oof. <laughs> Here Herman hits a curbstone. When we enter the section of the original track at the stop sign, you'll see a gravel trap in front. After that, we enter the third of four chicanes in this version. It's a shame really that the current circuit is pretty much a shadow of its former track self. The classic layout consisted mainly of fast turns with only a few slow ones, but this new circuit is completely the opposite. You can't find a fast turner anywhere. <laughs> it's stop and go all the time. In 2006, this new track was also found no longer suitable for modern car racing after an 11 hour inspection by the Royal Automobile Club of Belgium. Fortunately, organisers could keep the track suitable for classic events though. Today, the Chimay circuit is used just five times a year. However, that could also be stopped because there are no successors to the board of organisers who put on the races. So that could mean that this new version will also become a circuit of the past. Maybe we can inspire some local Belgians to take over and reinvigorate Chimay's racing heritage. So, while the car in front is slowing us down, we cross the start finish for the final time. If you want to know more about the history of the Chimay Street Circuit, I recommend to read the article about it on the website, which you can get at www.circuitsofthepast.com. There you can also download a free ebook about seven abandoned racetracks that you can visit legally. For now though, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, 
and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss our next video from another Circuit of the Past.